Hey everyone, uh, just a heads up, this reaction, I'm not exactly in the right of mind. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers himself, this last couple days ago, and I only talked to him like once or twice in real life, so I'm not going to act like I'm huge friends with him, but I was a huge fan, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, Talking Kitty Show, if you guys know what it is, Steve Cash, he's no longer with us, so I forced myself to do this recording and I tried my best but at the same time too I think I drink a little bit too much too so I hope you guys understand that and please enjoy the video. What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen how's everyone doing this evening support Ivan with me as always my boy Nish DFX today's the day for the newest death battle which is uh, Cable versus Booster Gold aka DC Johnny Cage Marvel versus DC so uh, as before we get this started, as we always say, please watch the original full screen in its entirety without our blabbing happen. Me and Inch, because we don't shut up. Also, they're debatably cool with the reactions. And uh, please call some of their merch account like we do. And support these guys by following, by going to their first members, and uh, by signing into RizzoT.com and signing up for first members so you guys can watch this early as well. And uh, yeah, and we don't skip commercials on our end because, you know, pays them and all that good stuff. So, okay, so Cable and Booster Gold. I have no idea who the fuck these people are. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know Cable enough because that's uh, Scott and Jean Grey's kid from X Men. He's a time traveler. They're both time travelers at the end of the day. Um, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, as far as who's going to win, I mean, let's face it. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to trust Death Battle to do the research, and, and I really can't be much. I can't really, uh, I don't know enough about each of them. What I do know is that DC writers all have baby dick syndrome, where they, like, <laughs> they have, they, they're trying to compensate. So, like, that's why their superheroes yeah. are always stronger than Marvel. Clearly, the writers in DC have smaller penises. I don't know. They, they, they there's, do. some, there's, there's some <laughs> type of, like, insecurity as to why their, their characters are so much stronger. I don't, maybe, I, maybe I'm just, like, Going crazy off the end. I don't know. It just seems to kind of be like what it is, but that's okay. Whatever, right? I, I feel the same way too, to be honest with you. I feel the same way. It's just like at this point in time, if it's Marvel versus DC, I'm about 95% sure DC is going to win. Just be, and even if I don't know who the character is, I'm like, okay, it's DC. I So that's pretty much the same thing here. I don't know Booster Gold. But I'm pretty damn sure he's gonna win just because he's DC. Yeah. But, we'll, but we may be surprised or not. We'll just have to find out. So uh, you ready to cap this off on me? Fuck yeah, man! Let's do this, baby. And by the way, we ain't biased here, man. We're just, we're trusting our hearts and everything into them. And like again, if we're gonna play devil's advocate, we'll do it as long as we have the justified means to do so. Yeah, that really looks like my computer's fucked up when they do when they do that flash thing. I don't like it. They straight up like, Mankind um, has always looked to the past with regret for mistakes and to the future yeah. with a chance to correct Is, is, is this one just really the quiet, maybe? They're the recording? Time. Hey, say buckle up. But it sounds fine to me. Going, we don't need seat belts. Wait, is that the right quote? <laughs> Cable, the time-traveling warrior mutant from Marvel. And Booster yeah. Gold, the greatest DC Comics hero you've never heard of. He's wears an wow. eye boomstick. Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> that. Makes their weapons, like right? That makes perfect sense. To find out who would win a death battle. Yeah, pretty much. But, 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 yeah. I'm still but we'll talk. I've never heard of him, so I believe the story Marvel. begins with the supervillain, yeah. Mr. Sinister. Oh, with a name Mr. like that, you'd just be disappointed if he wasn't a supervillain. In an attempt to destroy another supervillain, Apocalypse, Sinister planned to create the. So there's an Apocalypse character in DC? So we decided no. to. Um, Read the X Men Scott Summers and Gene Grey. That dude was jerking off. All right, to, weirdo. Like, I mean, they're already in a relationship. Summer <laughs> Just one little. Before <laughs> <bit. laughs> <laughs> 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 it was ready, Gene was. Yeah, I can't blame him there. No if he gets hot and steamy, we're gonna get it hotter. He just cloned Gene, I mean, got the new hurry sure bed with Cyclops and great, bam, right? pop Nathan <laughs> Summers, Marvel's <laughs> ultimate baby. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're talking about comic books here, yeah, so yeah. Gene eventually came back to life after dumping the clone. Scott. I'm surprised. Raise baby Nate together. Oh, how nice! They love happy endings. That's why they Until didn't. Nate he, I'm saying he didn't inherit both parents' powers. Apocalypse. You would think that would happen. Apocalypse infected Nate yeah, with the techno organic bars. virus, a liquid metal that converts for organic one. tissue into cold and steel. fifty pounds. Age crusty? And just like the real thing, there was no uh, cure. The lady from the future showed up. I don't fucking know. I got that. Allowed Nate to take him two thousand years into the future in hopes of a cure. Unfortunately, there wasn't one. 
Because so this smells like Old Spice old and Gunpowder. That'd be a good smell, actually. So now, poor Nate's got an incurable robot virus and is stranded in a post-apocalyptic apocalypse future. He's like Trump. What a rip off. Well, it's Trump? not all bad. Trump. As the techno-organic virus oh, took Trump. over okay. his body, Ball. it enhanced yeah, yeah, his strength, speed, Trump's. and endurance. Yeah, I can see it, actually. Notably, but he, he looks a little more, he looks, he's more broodier. It's probably the original infrared to track objects two miles away. The original Trump's time traveler? And if any part sense. of his yeah. robo-self is damaged, he can just put it back together like it is split. He's more than just a cyborg, though. His training in the future turned him into an incredible hand-to-hand -hand combatant and tactical genius. And like oh, any man. good 90s comic book hero, he often comes to fights packing some totally <laughs> awesome heat. Machine guns, laser guns, a doohickey that can control dinosaurs? What more would you need? He became a great savior so, of the so, future. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I feel so stupid for not knowing these characters, but again, I'm not that big on comics, so... You can't blame me. Unfortunately, despite being in the future, he was running out of time. I was one of those. I was, just, I was one of those losers, you know what I mean? Body not losers, but just people who just didn't, you know, didn't care for it. Mutant, he's an Omega level mutant, which no, means dude. his power is ultra maximum level. Oh, yeah. Thanks to his parents, who, who else Cable possesses mutant? incredible telekinetic power. <laughs> he can move objects who else is an mind, Omega mutant? create force fields, disassemble complex one? technology, and even manipulate matter down to is the she atomic she level. Mu he uses um, Omega level mutant? That's his mom. The at bay. Yeah. yeah is she he's a... constantly okay. pushing the dude, virus Jean back 24-7. How did he do that in his sleep? Like his telekinetic powers were so strong that he once stopped 247 yeah. enormous missiles, Telepathy. containing Telepathy. their explosions, Maybe and then pulled them out of the atmosphere. Maybe top for sure. He's also okay. a telepath who can read and control probably, minds on a planet-wide level. Okay. He can even shut so. your brain off if he doesn't like you. Oh, oh shit. I can do that to Wiz. Yeah. Good luck with that. He's oh. <laughs> ionizing the entire planet's atmosphere all by himself, Storm, and his psionic what's powers extend even further. He can Stupid question, what's ironizing? The, what do you mean by ironizing the atmosphere? Like cleaning it or whatever? Time travel. It was those timey-wimey powers that let Cable visit the 20th century where he met the X-Men, joining their fight for a better future da -da 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 -da. in our past. And that's how he found alternate da -da 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 -da. versions of himself, like a clone named Strife. A timeline oh, where he was a she named Rachel, and that another named Gray, who was called X-Man. X-Man? Uh, really, really breaking the bank on the name of that guy, huh? <laughs> Pretty gutsy to name himself after the entire franchise. I mean, they do it, they did it with Marvel. Was, uh, it's Marvel. Marvel, Jesus? rather. So it's not... It is. Oh, oh shit. God. Holy shit, be oh, careful Jesus. of what you say in front of mutant Jesus. Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 a showcase of the almighty power Ooh, Cable could have, page, if not man. for the techno-organic virus. <laughs> so Cable said, screw this bullshit, and straight up pulled the virus out of himself. How? What did he even grab onto? Yeah, Literally rearranging that? his DNA to do so. Which is impossible. Ew. Across yeah, I 70 bet. trillion oh. cells in an average human body, there are over 200,000 pairs of DNA. Whoa. But somehow, over the course of a day, Cable could comprehend and manipulate each and every that's one. Graphic. Yeah, Rider that's graphic. Yeah, that's why I said hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, it says right, it looks like it's iron, a giant metal island. No, it says right there, the ironizing, the ironizing the Earth's atmosphere. And could he even move the planets? To move the Earth out I don't know of what that solar is. Orbit. Someone can tell it's a surfer. Cable have to generate Yo. 170 decillion joules of All right, he got something. Nearly killed the Avengers by himself. TNT. God damn. The He's tough. Avengers ain't, Avengers ain't the problem. He's fast it's enough Silver to Surfer. fight the Silver Surfer. Yeah, and was tough enough to survive the Incredible the Hulk. Hulk but even with all yeah. his power, Cable knew he could never truly save the future. However, he did eventually find hope. Yeah, yeah, like literally, it's, it's a girl named Hope. After <laughs> time alone, hey man, you find hope, you bang hope, you got protect. hope forever. Whether it be past, as long as there's life, there's hope. Cable will always be fighting as long for as a better tomorrow. The hope. <laughs> Apocalypse. The name's Cable. Man, it all starts. Booster Gold is yeah. a hero, an icon, go. a brand. He's a vigilante uh -oh. protecting Cage, the what do you got? of Metropolis, yeah. and also the head of his own PR company. He's a wink and a catchphrase. He's fame and fortune incarnate. Seriously, he's but Johnny Cage in DC Universe. There's no fuss about it. He's 100% full of shit. Michael John <laughs> was your average star college football player from the 25th century. He's a scrawny motherfucker. You think so? 
forced into a corner. Michael was I mean, caught betting on the skeleton at that point, right? If he is, then he's fucking strong. There's no muscle. Well, his mother did survive. Michael found himself in jail. After his time, he just managed to land a job as a security guard at the Metropolis Space Museum and stumbled upon the exhibit on 20th Century Superheroes. Which inspired him sense, to become yeah. a superhero too. It kind of actually he yeah, that makes no all sense at all. You're right. Good, and turns out it was the it's like, like you said, DC. He has like point zero zero one percent body fat. Let's just lay it around. I'm just saying, like, it has to be super low. Security. Yeah. Alongside his own C-3PO bot, Skeets. Michael took a trip to the past. He used his knowledge of future events to profit off the stock market and form his own company, Gold Star Incorporated. Oh yeah, wow, that that's way too skit. That's way too funny. Like, yeah, I'm six two. It's like, like Michael J. Fox yeah. played the guy from Back to the Future, and then he went back and sports all the way. This PR firm <laughs> and merchandising <laughs> yeah. would eventually yeah. introduce him as a self-made like superhero celebrity, Gold Star. Yeah. Yo. Except Ronald Reagan misheard the name as Booster Gold, and it stuck. <laughs> That's how he got the name. Wrong name. Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got the name. Yo. Superman, the most positive man alive, believed Booster Gold to be a huge dick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was super messenger and asshole. That's saying a lot. A I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna he already knew what happened. <laughs> yeah. Yo, fuck you, man. Luckily, he like, wasn't fuck all you, Superman, I got the super His stolen technology was incredible. <laughs> like his power suit, which, yeah. despite making him look like a huge tool, increases his yep. strength, tool. speed, it and does. toughness to superhuman levels. His main offensive gear includes energy guns, super dick. both of which can fire unidirectional <laughs> <laughs> <I'm laughs> booster, booster shots. Really, I mean, this, I mean, this, I mean, one of his things is skeet, so it's part of that. He can redirect the gun. Look right there, oh, skeet. Oh, the, the, the pink and the stink. You see that hand sign? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yo, the shocker. Yeah. More. He's just got to be careful <laughs> not to run out of fuel. Oh. His goggles include heat vision, infrared, and X-ray, and oh, his Legion you flight that last allows him clip? to. What was going yeah, on? At the end of the day, Booster's still an orphan. Oh yeah, he. That's nasty. Gangbang shit. Dumb loser. Oh, he was, he was <laughs> on a daily basis if he didn't have his force Potentially his most important tool of all. Booster's force field is an impenetrable wall of continual energy so dense that not even bacteria can pass through. I can really? control physical and energy attacks. Wow, he also well has corona. Stuff like exactly, I was about to say, like, oh, fuck you, Max. Well, I can right now. Fuck Superman. Save me, the man. Planet. Booster can even remove his force field and wrap it around yeah. something else <laughs> to protect them <laughs> or to crush them into nothingness. Oh, like shit. Like my heart after seventh grade prom. Perhaps this suit's most <laughs> bizarre ability is his mass dispersion field. Keep trying, Instead of blocking it. attacks, have, this field absorbs it. matter and spits it back out. Uh -oh. Obviously, Ow. if applied to a human being, That's the results hurt. would be... <sighs> oh. <sighs> Me and my seventh grade prom. And, and my flying elbows are no joke. a time machine to travel okay. to the past, okay. he has since integrated temporal <laughs> circuitry into his suit, allowing him to travel yeah, the time stream at will, or just stop it yeah. entirely. He can even hang out with his past and future selves. Oh, Booster managed cool. to fight alongside the Justice League. There he met fellow D-lister Blue Beetle, kicking off the most wholesome bromance. Is that, uh, to be fair, is that uh, the other, the, the, that, the, uh, that a different sure, Blue Beetle or the, the, the Spanish kid? I forgot his name. But as time went on, his There's acts of heroism form. became real and often required. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But the most known is what that um. With Blue Beetle helped yeah, yeah. him into the selfless hero he later became. Blue Beetle's yeah, actually really good. Yeah, I saw that. With heavy hitters like Doomsday and Maxima. He's moved quick enough to dodge Yo. beams of light. If he can be fast enough to keep up with Flash and, Flash? and into oh the speed God. force. You know, the yeah, extra he's gonna win, dude. energy field that, that controls that's all kinetic energy in the multiverse. <laughs> so, so much oh, in that, this cookie. No oh. <laughs> you oh. 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 And even a blast that was breaking down the earth to be in the speed force. That's why I just said, yeah. Invincible. His force field is powered by the same energy source as gauntlets. So using too much okay, of either wake me up the when this He's also a huge yeah. showboat and will take any opportunity he can it, to said? get rich quick. It's like over. the time he and Blue Beetle stole oh, just okay. like funds to set up a casino I on like a tropical hair. island. Which oh, yeah. turned out to be a lie. <laughs> Mostly titties, but I like green hair. <laughs> Weird. Booster's story. <laughs> looks good on some people. The journey to humility. Ew. After years of hero, oh, that he was offered membership with the Justice know. League of America, <laughs> and yet he turned it down, knowing the damage such a thing could do to history. 
that comes with Green Lantern. He's not a Green Lantern. I feel like he should be in like a version of like like yellow and yellow and blue Lantern. The important thing is that he chose a he does look like a like a Lantern, someone from the Lantern Corps. Behind the scenes, yeah, it may not have been what he originally planned, but Booster Gold would ultimately become the greatest hero you've never heard of. I do remember. I am Booster Gold. Some ways, the greatest hero you've never heard of. He was in a movie. Until now. He was in a movie? All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle! Oh! Yeah, I'm guessing <laughs> my heart's with Cable, but Booster probably has it. I'm saying, I'm saying Booster. Booster got it. I'm not going to even bother to, yeah, think. Huh? I like I just jumped in. Ooh. Hey, uh, stop buddy, do you somebody? mind? You see him checking out that I'm ass? My spotlight here. Why would you, like, jump You look in like an idiot. <laughs> oh, I you saw him checking out that ass earlier. Oh, like, oh hell no! Nah. Right? Oh, okay. Trying to steal my bitches. Well, That's a fight right there. It's a fight you want. Uh -oh. It's a fight you'll get. The pavement will be stained with your uh -oh. blood. Ooh. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Ocean. Oh, 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 Wait, no. is this guy serious? Yeah, yeah, he's seriously gonna whip your ass if you don't do something. <laughs> right? Is he serious? <laughs> oh, thank you. Him. Exactly. Can't touch this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be right there, like, it's over. Like, you know, KO! <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's really what should happen. Now, now we're just getting into pain, right? Hey, oh, man, that man. should be bo that should right, oh. douchebag. You want some of this? That should be boring yeah. if, if it's ended like oh, that, man. Oh, you... oh, 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 oh! Let's see. How far? You fly! <laughs> what the <laughs> lag much? You went like a girl. <laughs> I know a girl that can hit that hard. You lag much, player. What the fuck was that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, that's 12, 12 zero, man. Noob no two, no two. It's next week or a million next weeks. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dumb. Uh, you see, you know it says 12, 12 p.m. Is that a reference to something? Why would they put that exact time? 12, 12, 20, 12. I guess so. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh -oh. <laughs> there has to be a reason for that. Isn't that the same battlefield for when I'm, um, He-Man and, um, and Thundercat? Uh-oh. Oh, fucking dinosaur. Oh, they are trying to jump in. That's an ugly ass looking T Rex. Come on, you can no! do better. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, he, he let I set this up while you were playing Roadkill. Funny how time travel works. Oh, hey, I can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. In fact, it's kind of my thing. So, here's an <laughs> army of me's from every second we've fought so far. Oh. So, it's been like what, three, so it's been like what, three minutes? So that's like two points every like, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that what I'm saying. Means, like, that means he's gonna be fighting about a hundred. been fighting least, for over two, or three minutes. Yeah, exactly. So that's like at least like at least three hundred clones. Yeah. Approximate. Turn your shields off. Oh what? Oh, no. Whoa, wait a minute. In my head must remove for speed. No. Finally. Must Your time remove just ran out. Noob, 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 What? Oh, no way. Wait, Did you think uh, you made me turn my force field off? No. It's too strong for that. <laughs> I gave it to you. Here comes the what? Huh? Oh. Is, he, is he gonna crush him? Oh, of he is. Come on. See you in you really think Cable can win? Goddamn no. Of course not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. No surprise there. That's an active way to go, though. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, no surprise. Let's, exactly. right, let's hear why. <laughs> oh, seriously. Even Boomstick sped up with fucking DC winning. Seriously, how did that golden dingus beat mutant? You can dingus? Is that what well, he said? It's 
sounds oh, crazy at first, on, but boy. Booster Gold Dang, actually had crazy. everything come he needed on, to take Cable out. Yeah. DC has riders that have penises between the boosters. three to four inches. Experience in the trenches <laughs> made him the and they lack about creativity, so they have to Booster had plenty of deadly weapons it's about three, on his own right. It, it's about an inch off the ground while they're laying down. That's how small that shit is. Everything survived some crazy stuff. Including every single thing in Cable's arsenal. For example, Cable's telekinesis mm -hmm. could move a planet and rearrange cells, right? Well, Booster's force field survived planetary destruction yep. at the subatomic level. Similar oh, to a shit. nuclear bomb, but on a massive scale worth about 14 cool. tons said, of I'm TNT. Not I'm not over a hundred thousand times greater than Cable's I don't power. Argue yeah, same here. It's Marvel and DC. Every DC guy I've ever met does not pack in the pants. Fight with the silver Every surfer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once like the surfer got serious, the fight was over pretty quick. He already said, like, about the, uh, so, like the silver surfer fight. He said that was, he kicked his ass right away. Cable's mind control powers. Well, Boosty's shield protected him from Maxwell Lord, whose mental powers, like Cable's, could also span an entire planet. Okay, yeah, that makes Cable sense. Cable looked a lot better on paper, but he just didn't have a surefire way to put Booster down. Here comes Good. And Booster had exactly what he needed Here to nab a victory. Woo. This is one of the yeah. awkward things about comparing Wait. heroes from different franchises. Cable may be a gritty badass, and Booster may be a silly goofball, but those distinctions mostly matter in their own worlds. In Death Battle, we have to compare them directly, and sometimes that means a hero no one's ever heard of wins. Booster didn't just win, he took home the gold. Bruh. <laughs> the winner is Booster Gold. I'll give it Come to on, me. do a little better than that. <laughs> Here we go now. Here's what I'm talking hey, about. This episode. All right, who's yeah, next? Be someone good, please. No, there we go. And if you want to watch more please, stuff, someone good. Someone good. Come on, baby. Who's that? Kakashi? <gasps> oh. Obi Wan? Kakashi Kenobi versus yeah, Kakashi? Yeah, Obi Wan versus Kakashi, dude. Why? Oh, why? Yeah, well, like, what the fuck's up with that? Now I'm nerfed. Now, I'm, okay, I'm scared now. Because I don't care about Star Wars. I was never, I was never big into the franchise. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So star, I'm, I not I'm not a star card either. But oh, man, Kakashi, man, I love Naruto. That's my favorite anime. That man's one of the best characters in the show, and it's gonna crush me if he dies. Kakashi I just is, like, yeah, he's legit. He, that's Naruto's teacher. Yeah, he's one of the best, one of the yeah. most powerful in the series. I love that dude, and if he dies, I'm gonna be oh. crushed. Like, I'm not, like, I'm so dreading uh, this fight. Obi-Wan? Yeah. I don't know what Obi-Wan's capable of, oh, but oh, I... Okay, I, like, like you said, let's, let's try it. Okay, less than a minute, go. Why them two? Justify it, go. If you can't, it's fine. One minute, go. Uh, because I guess they're both teachers. Uh, what else? They both mentor students that one of them became evil. I think uh, I think I was Anakin Skywalker for Obi Wan and Sasuke for Kakashi. And they both use spiritual energy because the force is apparently spiritual, and so is Chakra. Mm. That's the yeah. best one. Like that's that's all I can think of. But that's a weird mashup. Once you start putting the force in there, a lot of people have different interpretations of the force. So yeah. If, if their interpretation of the force is like. It, Force. Fuck, fuck what you know. Fuck what you heard. Fuck your feelings. The force just does everything. I mean, so I, I mean, uh, uh, I mean. If, if I, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I, I'll leave it at that. Like, and it's like my heart. I want Kakashi to win, but I do too. That's I my feel, homie. I, I feel like <laughs> the force is going to triumph over. Um, culture privilege i'm gonna say it yeah and it sounds, i got a question it sounds, it sounds stupid it sounds arrogant but like that's just my opinion of it so so like it's so my question is the force like infinite like infinite use or can it be limited to a person because like i said i don't want star wars so i don't really know i, I don't really know the specific details uh, so, so like is the force some, like somebody will probably fill in the blanks below and yeah let me for it but because... at the end of the day the force from what i remember is as long as they can like tap into it, it's kind of it, 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 it's a conundrum because they're like, oh, the force is infinite, the force is everything. But all of a sudden, when someone's like, you watch the character like Luke, he struggles. I should say struggle, but like 
He'll fight like Empire, right? He'll fight mm -hmm. a, a simple guy with a gun with lasers, and you can yeah. see him going like, you can see his like mind, that his eyes are twitching. That means there is there is a limit. Like the only uh, thing I can uh, think uh, of that Kakashi could counter, in my opinion, like you know, because you know, there's a fourth push and everything. Like Kakashi, if you think about it, is no stranger to it because if you remember when he fought Pain, Pain had one of the Pain had the ability to like push and pull objects, mm -hmm. push people away. And so Kakashi knows that, and I'm sure he can counter it. Mm -hmm. Okay, as well as Force Lightning, Kakashi knows Lightning. That's not going to do shit to him either. Mm -hmm. So my guess is, like, in the Force Choke and the, the Mind thing, that's kind of Genjutsu-ish. So I think Kakashi could find a way to, like, you know, get out of that too. There, I think there's ways for Kakashi, like, to get out of, like, his um, um, Jedi mind trick. Because that's what it is. It's my control. And Naruto and Kakashi knows pretty much a thousand jutsus, including genjutsu. So I figured you think he knows how to do it. He knows how to counter it, too. Right. So that's my thing, too. And also, I, in my opinion, this is going to determine who's faster. If Kakashi is fast enough to just getting close and getting that one hit, he could win. I can see it. Okay. But again, but there's so many factors. Because again, I don't know anything about Obi-Wan. I really don't. So if there's anything you guys want me to know, please leave it in the comments. Yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna have to see what they say. In my opinion, yeah. um, I think Obi Wan's taking it. Yeah, there's Obi, and, uh, and then it and killed. Then, oh, it crushes my soul. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing: Kakashi can't even like the Naruto universe can't even take Dragon Ball universe, and yeah. like I know Star Wars universe is up there on a Marvel DC level. Naruto isn't even there. No, that's fair enough. And uh, they, re they really can't justify it through, like, popular meat. You know, the Force has to have some degree of limits that... Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not a no, no limits fallacy type of thing. There has to be... Like, I just want Death Battle to, like... Even if Kakashi loses, just to fight to the point where I can yeah. agree with it. Don't be like, oh, because... Like we saw in the last Death Battle with Machamp and uh, Goro, that seismic toss thing was complete, at was complete ass fire. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much saying yeah. that any, any Pokemon... Cause Solo can beat a Mortal Kombat character. Yeah. I hope they don't do some bullshit like that because I was kind of like, was no, crazy. that was fucking there's, there's retarded. Like, there's like that lava snail. That's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah Macargo, Macargo, yeah. yeah. They even did a um cast saying, oh yeah, well, the, the, it's proven that the thing can walk around with with all the lava inside of its body. Okay, great. Because in the moment it fucking spits it out. <laughs> <laughs> what happens, like, I mean, the thing does, right? I'm assuming it spits out fire. It does. Yeah, it's a fire type. Yeah, it do it does some cheeky ass lava moves. La so, he has it has moves. It has a move called lava plume. Yeah, just because it, it just because someone can prove that the lava can. Okay, yeah, great. Let's say someone proved that the lava can stay in its body. Great. The moment it leaves and hits the ground. <laughs> I mean, ten thousand or twenty thousand degrees hitting Earth. That can incinerate the Earth, technically, right? Something that's that extent. I mean, I I don't know, but I I'm going to assume it's going to wreck shit. So, yeah, anyways, y'all, yeah. thank you guys yeah, for joining done. everything and everything. You know, like, sorry, I got some like eyebrows in my eyes because <laughs> your boy Ninja you got some. As you can tell, I got I got the most bushiest eyebrows of like most people that you have ever watched because hey, it ain't it ain't I, like, it ain't it ain't my guy level, but it ain't that bad, dude. Yeah, well, like when's the last time you shaved your eyebrows? Never, right? No, I never did. Yeah, exactly. See, my eyebrows are like a consistent. I shave them at least every two three weeks. Damn, just and, I, and it's still as thick as fuck. Watch my videos, <laughs> like you can see my eye, like they're thick and. I, if I don't shave them, I never it, noticed. It, it's a unibrow. It'll oh, gr it'll grow across like a caterpillar, like 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 guys, <laughs> like everything. Like I'm serious. Like I got I got I got the thick ass eyebrows. So my point is is that <laughs> it should get my eyebrows. But anyways, yeah. Yo, hope you yeah. guys enjoy this. You know, uh, again, just join us on that next reaction. Just giving our own opinion of who's going yeah. to win. And yeah. who wins? Cool, great. Again, we'll play devil's advocate if need be because that's what we do. We we just want to like ask that question of like, okay, yeah, you said this person wins, but here's our um objection, right? Like, what, like, what is like? Okay, you said he won because of this, but what about that, right? That's what yeah, we exactly. do. That that that's what we do as entertainers, 
and as uh, fans of franchises. So, but you know, if we eat a cup of tea, y'all go find it. It's out there. Believe it. I'm Ivan, my boy Nish. Stay in two for the next video, everybody. We're out. Stay awesome. Peace, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.